Hello and welcome. My name is Alan and we are back for more members of the 118th Congress. Today we are looking at Senator Eric Schmidt. He is a new senator. Uh, he is one of the two senators for the state of Missouri and he is a Republican. Before he took office, he was preceded in office by Roy Blunt. Now, let's go ahead and take a look at who he is as an individual. He was born in Bridgeton, Missouri on January the tw June 20th, sorry. 1975. Graduated Desmet Jesuit High School in St. Louis, Missouri on 1993. Earned a Bachelor of Arts from Truman State University in Kirksville, Missouri in 1997. Earned a JD from St. Louis University School of Law in 2000, has been a lawyer and alderman for Glendale, Missouri, 2005 to 2008, member of the Missouri State Senate, 2009 to 2017, the Missouri State Treasurer from 2017 to 2019, the Attorney General of Missouri 2019 to 2023 before being elected as a Republican to the U.S. Senate in 2022 for the term ending January 3rd, 2029. Now let's go ahead and look at the committees he is on. He is on the Committee on Armed Services of which he's on the subcommittee on cybersecurity, the subcommittee on emerging threats and capabilities, and the subcommittee on sea power. He's on the committee on commerce, science, and transportation, of which he's on the subcommittee on communications, media, and broadband, the subcommittee on space and science, of which He's a ranking member and the subcommittee on surface transportation, maritime, freight, and ports. And he's on the Joint Economic Committee. Now, let's look at the top five industry donors over his career. At the top, retired, who have donated $894,371. Next to Securities and Investment, who have donated $363,471. Next is Republican Conservative Groups, who have donated $362,118. Next is Real Estate, who have donated $322,449. And fifth is lawyers and law firms who have donated $288,037. And once again, that was his industry donors. Now, let's look at his top five individual donors and contributors over his career. At the top, number one, we have the Senate Conservatives Fund. And they are a U.S political action committee that supports conservative Republican Party candidates in primaries and general elections and primarily focuses on supporting U.S. Senate candidates. The PAC was founded by then Senator, U U.S. Senator of South Carolina, Jim DeMint. Altogether, they have donated $107,333, and once again, that's the Senate Conservatives Fund. Next, at number two, we have Herzog, and according to their site, they are a leading rail and 
heavy highway contractor across North America that solves complex transportation problems in challenging operating environments thanks to 50 years of experience and their team of professionals. Now, all together, they have donated $58,800. And once again, that's Herzog. Next, at number three, we have the National Republican Senatorial Committee. And they are a Republican Hill Committee for the U.S. Senate working to elect Republicans to the Senate and was founded in 1916 as the Republican Senatorial Campaign Committee. And it was reorganized in 1948 and renamed to the National Republican Senatorial Committee and is currently chaired by Steve Daines of Montana. Altogether, they have donated $51,200, and once again, that's the National Republican Senatorial Committee. Next, at number four, we have Burns and McDowell, and they are an American multinational construction architecture and engineering firm based in Kansas City, Missouri, and has 100% employee stock ownership. It was established in 1898 by engineers Clinton Sumner Burns and Robert Emmett McDonald. And the company is one of the largest design firms in the world with global revenues of $6.9 billion and employed and, and employing over 13,500 professionals worldwide. Altogether, they have donated $45,650, and once again, that's Burns and McDonald. And finally, in fifth, we have Hush McDowell LLP, their full name being Hush Blackwell Sanders Welsh and Cats LLP. And uh, they are a Missouri-based law firm that deals in a number of um, uh, fields of litigation and law. Altogether, they have donated $42,235. And once again, that's Hush Blackwell LLP. Now, let's look at their donor his donors at a glance. Industry-wise, retired, absolutely wonderful. Securities and investment, ooh. Republican conservative, boo, suck. Real estate, uh. Lawyers and law firms, uh. Individually, Senate Conservatives Fund, boo, suck. Herzog, okay. Republican Senatorial Committee, Bo Suck, Burns and McDowell, hey, great, especially the fact that their stock is all owned by employees, absolutely, and Hush Blackwell LLP, okay, but this has been a look at Senator Eric Schmidt, who is one of the two senators for the state of Missouri. As always, educate thyself, think, read, study, learn. Someone tells you something you have trouble believing, ask them to cite their sources. I'll be putting my links and sources in the description box below the video. Thank you all for watching. I'll see you all in the next one. Until then, later.